You know, we are very blessed. Together. Okay, I'm going to get this one, lovey. Like their garden. I really love the fact that we love to garden together. Steve and Joni Goodwin. Oh. I love those guys. I've shared a love. If you can carry that okay. one. That's blossomed. We've known okay. each other since we were, what, five, six, eight, eight years old? Uh -huh. Let's do this one, okay? okay. A love they've nurtured over decades. <laughs> they fell in love as teens. This is somebody I, I really want to be with. He wrote a song for me. The first of dozens of songs Steve would write for Joni. Next February, we'll hit 50. A song for every occasion, every mood, every memory. Oh boy, how's it go? He played the piano for her almost daily. Um, a soundtrack of their unforgettable love story. Keep going, keep going. This is such a brain. Okay. With notes, Steve now struggles to recall. Oh, darn it. Steve was fighting a fog in his brain. I just, uh, I can't remember. That's like his time. mother, he and Joni cared for in her final years. Yeah, it's frustrating. Steve, uh, at age 69, uh, uh, has early onset Alzheimer's. It's very hard. I, I don't want to be going down that road. I am making stones. Scones. He had to quit his job mm. as a software designer. Just put it right back there. The disease was hey. stealing his memory. But give me a hug. And the songs. Um. Songs he didn't think were good enough to share. Oh boy. And never I wrote mean, I, most I, of them down. I just don't remember how to play it. So I never thought about uh, having to uh, worry about that they would uh, go away. Music he composed for his daughters was slowly fading away. The music is him. He is the music. It hit me like a tidal wave that not only would I be losing my daddy, but the music that was the soundtrack of my childhood. Oh boy. His family was heartbroken. Yeah. Until daughter Melissa yeah. confided in a good friend. What key do we start in? Start on the A. Naomi the a? La Violette, who happened okay, to be yeah, a okay. professional pianist. So you'll have to cue me in. <laughs> with perfect pitch. A trait found in only one in 10,000. I said, well, maybe if he could play them for me, I could try and learn them. She gets it, and she gets it, and she remembers every bit of it, exactly the way I would play it. It's, it's really special. It is. It's an amazing gift. Despair turned to hope. That back to the boom. With her talent to learn a song by listening to it. Stay, that's it, right? Oh, yeah. This is the first time I've worked with someone with Alzheimer's. We can't use that, 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 that low note. Right. Naomi yeah. sat patiently with Steve at the piano. He'd never played for anyone outside the family. I can't even express it. And to discover how well crafted they were was, was really uh, a gift to me. Over three years, listening, playing, recording, Naomi slowly pieced together the melodies lost in Steve's mind and rescued them. This is amazing because he, he expresses his gratitude through his music. How was that? More than three dozen songs <laughs> saved. Beautiful. But that wasn't the end. Not even close. Did you get a program? Yeah, thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Family. Yes. You are our friend. Look at you. <laughs> Friends. How sweet of you to come. Would you like one? And strangers. It's exciting. Uh, yeah, it feels really pretty exciting. Is. Are you coming for a CD? Who heard about the project to save Steve's music? Thank you for being yeah. with us. Packed the old church in Portland. I'm excited. For a concert.
The only thing missing. She got sick. Joni. Last night? Yeah, last night. Homesick with the flu. I just got to get Joni feeling better. When Steve took the stage, All right. the fog in his brain lifted. You will probably ever find another man with Alzheimer's that is as happy as I am. As he played for an audience moved by the music he never dared share. I really enjoy listening. The pieces Steve can't remember how to play most these days. Naomi skillfully and tenderly brought back to life. And perhaps the most amazing thing is what has happened to Steve's brain. Once the music was saved, he was able to create again. For a man who often can't remember what day it is, somehow, along with Naomi, he's writing new compositions. He has uh, a love story to share in almost every song. Like this one, Melancholy Flower. The Oregon repertory singers put it on their CD with lyrics and a choral score Naomi wrote about Steve's journey with Alzheimer's. I love it. Steve's journey always takes him home to Joan. Because of Naomi, those pieces of his soul will always be with me. I'm never going to be alone. When time takes its toll and Alzheimer's steals what it will, the songs will remember when and like the flowers in Steve and Joni's garden. Good job. Their love will bloom again. Good job.